this was a very interesting game in the sense that it was mega random, but very weird one. Migration, which we figured out, but it was also land going, the mainland was going around in such a way that your water area was blocked off. They could not get to you, they'd have to build in your area to get to you. I think that was the case all around, looks like it. So it, really, it was kind of hard to see what was going on here. It blocks them off as well, right? So y if you build a fleet beside yourself, it's only defensive. You can't do anything. And then if you have to, you have to, you can get on the mainland very easily, and the mainland goes around behind you, which is kind of odd. It has resources. There wasn't that many in the middle. That's where the majority of the conflict was. So we're curious to see what what was going on over here, because from my point of view, I was fighting on the left side, raiding, and then fighting ships trying to land here, and eventually fighting over here, but. I did not see what was going on here, and there's three main phases of the game. The first phase is Argo and me trying to get a mainland base that, uh, well, runs into trouble, as you'll see. Well, let's take a let's view it from Drunken Master's point of view when we get there. He was a higher level player and he was a good player, but he was booming a lot, a lot of time while we were fighting. And then came to get involved. It's really weird. You have to focus on the green to see it, how it loops all the way around the islands of these guys. Really weird map. I had, I had thought I could get to him from here. He almost can, but it doesn't get there. The problem with, with the block thing is if you build a fleet, you can't, you, like, even if you do build a fleet beside the enemy, you're, that's it, you can't get to the next guy, so you can't just go ships and try to do the traditional migration thing, one of the options is trying to go ships and hit their home island, it's not easy to do so. You can go and land on them, but your ships are not coming along to help out. So he's fighting over here on the mainland as well, on the right side. Did not have, uh, cartography yet, so I guess... There we go. There's some feudal, so you can see that we're fighting over here, and we were causing trouble with our archers. What was going on with them? They didn't have much of a base. They're building it, but well, they did. This guy had the feudal base. Yellow and purple were, were fighting together quite well that game. Even though they were maybe weaker compared to the rest. <laughs> What they could see from their point of view. Maybe we want to see it from their point of view. Yeah, like he, he, this is the problem with Steve. Argo wasn't able to get his castle up, unfortunately. That would have been a big, big help. We hear the orange cast as well, it was a cast player. This is not good, looking good for us at this point. We're losing the TC, losing everything, didn't get the castle up. Our allies were booming, which was good. Since I mean, since this guy's army, that's part of the reason why they have uh, high pops. And he's going Imperial, okay, that's good. So he's definitely he's getting to the second phase where he comes to fight and cause trouble. Teal is not as... Uh... Let's see. There's 
booming up as well. It gets interesting too. They can't see that we what we have. This is from their point of view. Can't, he doesn't know that I have an arm. Well, he, he should be able to tell because of the. I don't know if they're showing on the recorded game. It always shows that if it's on the board. It's something being built there. We just cause trouble here. So Fighting in the south. West elements, I don't remember that. Taking out castles, dude, doing good. Good work. <laughs> Wiping them out of the mainland here, that's important. They still have their base over here. They need to be around by two. Great <laughs> Getting outbuilt. Getting it, he was killing him too. But Orange still had a base, that's the problem. he had when he gave up he had resources and his home base was fine why is he giving up you're lost buddy should have stayed around and see what happened later you should have given me the resources you're gonna give up i could use that wood i would have, I would have made good use of it look at me uh let's see what uh drunken master at this time he's still making use of it like i'm you could have quit. Give me your resource at least, buddy. Jeez. Useless. Give up too easily. Okay, let's go back to them because we want it from their point of view. Skirms, I guess, to deal with that. Do you have the resources to build that Argo? Not really. Didn't have the gold. I guess he did if he had to research them. Skirms to back him up would have been nice. I think. Imperial Skirms. Or, I mean, if Green had been coordinated and helped, uh, like, he had the ar the army here that would have paired up well with Argo, but. Uh, was hitting. Was still causing trouble from over here. Let's take a look at that. Oh, I missed this too. He had to build this defense here of his home island instead. Kept him busy for a bit. His, his economy got messed up a bit too. See, he's out of food because I. Does he have an economy over here? Not so much farming. So that caused some trouble for him. Got other resources though. It did slow him down a bit, at least. Heal hadn't quit, he could have been helping here. He had the resources to do it, just gave up. 
Trying to get his own ships up, eh? He had the, uh, the straps going. That's funny. What other resources did he have? Well, he has resources, but he's not in good shape. We're building more army, man. See, you're stockpiling resources for no reason. I put my stuff resources into use, for the most part. I can't see. <laughs> Curious to see what they have from their point of view, right? Let's see. The GG, so I get the GG. Oh, buddy. We were scouting out there. I didn't have a lot of resources. He's he hurt hard. Independence Day. <laughs> Maybe all those and then they were useless. Well, they're good for defense, I suppose. They've been hit. He had no way to know how many uh, ships I have. not let them build docks to get under water, so we had to keep an eye out all around. That guy's patrolling. They're trying to get into there. So that could have been dangerous to clear out the docks and build their own area. This problem is you don't have a wood right now. Good. Mine Got a lot of wood here. So. There was wood to be got, no. The amount of time it was going to take to get, we would need bombard cannons and traps to maybe cover and kill the ships and build his own docks. Bombard, and you know, get bombard towers up, but uh, it would have taken a while. It's good work. Let's look at the stats again. Good military for me. Higher than most. Good ratio. How much of an army to? To get there. Lots of villagers killed. I assume I had a bad economy, but uh better than grey anyway. Even yellow. Let's see. The trade was key.
Cargo Imperial Apps and Mage Chase. What are you doing, Argo? Finally got a decent amount of bills off. 